I found these plastic candy canes over at the Dollar Tree and they're just really cute size to decorate um, for this type of country craft and so I just take pieces strips of homespun homespun fabric is fabric that is um, you can see on both sides and it's used in country decorating and country things and so I just have like a half of an inch of blue homespun fabric and I just glued the edge of the uh, candy cane just with hot glue and then I'm just going to fold it over on itself so that it kind of wraps around the actual candy cane and then I just proceed and just wrap all the way around until I get to the top and then I just secure it with some hot glue as well. Once you finish wrapping the homespun fabric all the way around, just take some scissors and just trim off where you want and just hot glue that down together. You can use your scissors to trim off any of the extra little tails that you may have or little strings that you don't want on your actual candy cane. Now I have a piece of craft colored cardstock that I'm going to be creating the little bitty tags. Just hand wrote those tags. And I'm going to be using a punch, a punch that I got at the craft store. If you don't have this particular punch, you may can um, find one using your Cricut uh, cartridge, or if you have a uh, design space on the Cricut, Cricut Explorer, you can find some different kind of tags. Okay, I have this little Christmas tree stamp. It says 2001 Stampin' Up, so I'm not quite sure if it's still around. And I'm going to be stamping on a mouse pad. I, I like to do this when I stamp because it leaves a better impression. And I'm going to be using some green memento ink, just taking the little Christmas tree stamp and I'm going to just stamp it in the corner of each of the tags so that it really ties in that Christmas feel for this entire little project. I took an ultra fine black sharpie marker and I made some dash lines or stitch lines all the way around each of the little tags. And then I'm going to hand write Merry Christmas on the tag and I will doodle it up by putting the little dots on each of the letters. And then after I finish that, I'm going to get some brown ink and ink around the edges of the tag so that it gives it kind of an antique or age old little look. And then to make it even more, um, I will take it and I will crumble it up and just kind of bend it back and forth and just kind of crumble it up. And then I'll take the little ink pad and I'll just go around the actual tag so that it gives it um, a really aged little look.